to be successful at almost anything, you can't, it, you have to do the tough stuff and as well as the enjoyable stuff. You have to do the boring stuff as well as the non-boring stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't do your chores, then bad things will happen. But if they don't do the things that they don't like to do, then the company will be in trouble. Yeah. Like you have to, t you, you basically, like it's more fun to cook the meal than to, 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 to clean the dishes, mm -hmm. okay? But you need to clean the dishes. Well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I, think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there, there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of fear. People shouldn't think, well, I feel fear about this, and therefore I shouldn't do it. Um, it's normal to, be, to feel fear. When starting SpaceX, I thought the odds of success were less than 10%. Um, and I just accepted that actually probably I would just lose, lose everything. Um, but that maybe we'd make some progress. If we could just move the ball forward, even if we died, maybe some other company could pick up the baton and move, keep moving it forward. Um, so that would still do some good. Um, yeah, same with Tesla. I thought you know, the odds of a car company succeeding were extremely low. How quick are you to fix the mistakes, mm. not will you make mistakes? And if you see the difference between a startup that is successful and one that is not, and it's mm. because the successful one, they both made mistakes, but the successful one recognized the mistakes, fixed them very quickly, and the, the unsuccessful one tries to deny that the mistakes exist. I learned it when I was doing, uh, when I was studying physics. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, in, in physics, you're taught to always question yourself. You're taught to always assume that you're wrong, not assume that you're right, and you have to prove yourself not, not wrong. Um, and so I think that, that that physics framework is really where, where I learned it, and um, it's very effective for under, for learning counterintuitive things that aren't obvious. If you only do things that are certain to succeed, then you're only going to be doing very obvious things. Definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, as long as uh, people stay super focused on creating the absolute best product or service that really delights their end customer, I, if they stay focused on that, then um, if, if you basically if, if if you get it such that your customers want you to succeed. Mm. Then, then you probably will. I think, um, I think certainly uh, being focused on something that you're confident will have high value to someone else, um, and just being really rigorous in making that assessment, mm -hmm. um, because people are, tend, tend to, a natural human tendency is wishful thinking, um, mm -hmm. So a, a challenge for entrepreneurs is to say, well, what's the difference between really believing in your ideals and sticking, sticking to them versus pursuing some unrealistic dream that right. doesn't actually have merit? And it's, it's, that, is a, it, that is a really difficult thing to, to tell. You, can you tell the difference between those two things? Right. You know? So you need to be sort of very rigorous um, in, in your self-analysis. Uh, self um, I think certainly extremely tenacious uh, and um, and then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. Really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into, um, given that, you know, even if you're, if you're the best, the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just, it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, 
you just really can make it work, I think. If you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to uh, is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so, depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is, and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So, do everything you can to to gather great people. Uh, if, if you're creating a company. The whole purpose behind Tesla, the reason um, I put so much of my, my time and, and money into helping create the, uh, the, the business is, uh, is, is we want to serve as a catalyst for accelerating the electric car revolution. Um, the, uh, the, the price of gas at the pump does not reflect the true cost of gasoline um, because you have a consumption of a, of, of a public good. Um, it's, it's one of the most, it, it's, it's really a common problem in economics. You have the same thing in, in, in fishing where because there's no cost to, to fishing stocks, people just overfish and you, know, and, and you, you have disaster that, that, that ensues. Right. And, and here we, we're, we're not paying for the cost of, of the CO2 concentration in the oceans and atmospheres. We're not paying for all these the ancillary effects, yeah. the wars and all the other things at, 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 the, at the gas pump. So you effectively have a subsidy taking place at, at, at the gas pump because of that. So the only way to bridge that is, is with innovation, um, is to try, to try to make electric cars better sooner than they would otherwise be. You've got to make sure that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier where um, if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that if it's an untapped market, or then, then uh, you have more ability to, you, this, this, the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Depending upon how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So, uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and, I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done, as much done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. I, you you want to try to make every element of the car um, as as flawless as possible. Um, now there will always be, you know, some um, degree of imperfection, but um, try to minimize that um, and and create a car that is just delightful in every way. Um, and I think if you do that, then. The, the rest kind of takes care of itself.